Hello everyone and welcome to my online lesson on angles in polygons. So I'm going to cover a few of the basic skills that you need to know first before we look at solving some problems. The first skill we're going to go through is how to find the exterior angle of a regular polygon. So if you look at this polygon here, I actually have a pentagon and it's actually labelled on for me what the exterior angle is, which is this angle here. It's worth noting, a lot of people think that the exterior angle will be this here, uh, but it's not. It's what turn do you have to make if you're travelling straight along one of the edges? What turn do you have to make in order to reach the other edge? So it's that angle, not the red one. So I'm going to start by drawing on the exterior angles of this pentagon. So here are all five exterior angles. Um, and what's interesting to know is that all together they make a full turn. Because as I travel around the outside, the turn I have to make every time, when I add them up and travel the whole way around the shape, I've gone 360 degrees back to the beginning. So the exterior angles of any polygon, whether it's regular or not, the exterior angles will add up to 360 degrees. So that's one important fact that I need to know. So this question says work out what um, an exterior angle of a regular pentagon is. Well, a pentagon has five exterior angles because it has five sides. So 360 divided by five will tell me what one exterior angle is and that is 72 degrees. So that's how to find the exterior angle of a regular pentagon. If your shape isn't regular, the exterior angles will still add up to 360, but they won't necessarily all be the same. This is our next key skill. It's how to find the interior angle of a regular polygon. So interior angle is the angles on the inside. So there's two ways I can do this. I want to take you through both ways and then you can choose which one you prefer. So the first way is to split my shape up into triangles. So if we look here, this octagon can be split up into six separate triangles. It's important that when we split this up, we split it up from one vertex to another and we don't cross over. So an octagon splits up into six. Now it's interesting to note that the number of triangles any polygon will split up into is always two less than the number of sides it has. So in my octagon, because it has eight sides, it splits up into six triangles. So you may have seen this formula before. So that's the number of sides take away two. And because a triangle has 180 degrees, if I multiply that by 180, that will tell me what the total of all of the interior angles are. So in this example, I have 6 times 180. So that is 1080. That's what all of the interior angles add up to. And because I have eight of them, and this is a regular octagon, if I divide this by eight, it will tell me what one is. And that's 135 degrees. So that's the first way that I can do this question. The second way, which is sometimes a lot easier, is to first find what the exterior angle is. So I'm just going to do exactly what I did in the previous question. So exterior angles add up to 360 degrees. This is a regular octagon, so it has eight of these exterior angles. So 360 divided by eight is 45 degrees. Now, if you look at the diagram here, an exterior angle and an interior angle will always lie on a straight line. And the angles on a straight line add up to 180. So if I do 180, take away 45, this is, will also tell me 
what the interior angle of an octagon is. So that's a second way of doing it. Either way, I get the right answer, but potentially the second way can be quicker. So the correct answer is 135 degrees. Now that I've got my two basic skills down, I'm going to look at solving a problem. So this says the diagram shows a square and four regular pentagons. Work out the size of the angle marked X. Now I'm just looking around where X is. I can see here that I have these four angles around a point. So if I could find these three angles here, then I could find the angle X. And these are just some interior angles of shapes. So let's figure out what these are. Now a square just has a right angle as its interior angle. So I'm just going to label that as a right angle. Examiners will mark your diagram. So if you want to write on your diagram so it's clearer what you're doing, then that's fine. Now I'm going to use the second method in order to find what the interior angle of a pentagon is. So I'm going to do 360 divided by, a pentagon has five sides, so divided by five is 72 degrees. That's the exterior angle. So the interior angle is 180, take away 72 degrees, it's 108 degrees. So that's what the interior angle of a pentagon is. I'm just going to label this on so I can see what angles I've got. And now I know that angles around a point will add up to 360. So I just need to do 360, take away 108, take away 90, take away 108. So this gives me 54 degrees as my answer for X. And that's my question complete. Here's a question for you to try. You're asked to find the size of the angle DEH. If you pause the video now, you can unpause when you're ready to see the solution. Here's the full solution to this question. So DEH is the angle from D to E to H. So it's this angle here that I've marked in blue. You should have found what the interior angle of a pentagon is first and then done 360, take away um, two lots of 108, take away 60. So the final answer is 84. Now there is one more skill that they can test you on with angles in polygons and it's questions like these two here. The first one says, the size of each exterior angle of a regular polygon is 40 degrees. Work out the number of sides of the regular polygon. So my formula for exterior angles is I do 360 divided by the number of sides and that will give me the size of the exterior angle. But it tells me in the question that this is 40. So this is the question I have here. I have to try and solve this to find out what n is. So I can rearrange and find that n is going to be 360 divided by 40, which is just 9. So I've got a 9-sided shape. The second one's slightly more complicated. It says the size of each interior angle of a regular polygon is 156. Work out the number of sides of the polygon. So like before, it's easier to work with exterior angles instead of interior. So I'm going to find out what the exterior angle is first. So the exterior angle and the interior angle lie on a straight line. So if I do 180 take away 156, that gives me 24. So I've got the exterior angle and now it becomes just like a question like the one above. So I've got 360 divided by the number of sides is 24. So 
So to rearrange this, n is 360 divided by 24, which is 15. So my answer is a 15 sided shape. Here's a more complex question for you to try. It is a work out the number of sides question and it's asking you to work out the number of sides that tile A has. If you pause the video now, you can unpause when you're ready to see the full solution. Here's the full work solution. So I used I to denote the interior angle of tile A and E its exterior angle. So you should know that the interior angle of tile B was 60 degrees because it's an equilateral triangle. So we have two lots of the interior angle of tile A and the interior angle of tile B adding up to 360. So this is my calculation here to find the interior angle of tile A must be 150. So from that the exterior angle must be 30, therefore the number of sides must be 360 divided by 30, which is 12. Thank you for watching.